Los Sueños program, if I were to explain it to someone, is a community service trip where 10 New Englanders and 10 Dominicans meet up in the DR and build a house for someone who is in need and they also play baseball as a way to have fun. This is La Familia Osuna. This is the family who you're gonna change their lives forever. We're gonna build them a beautiful home. The work actually starts now. We're lining up the boards right now and making sure they're like overlapping an even amount so it's all level. We're gonna hammer them in and make the sides of the house. One of the things that connected us most was honestly the, the music and the dancing. They are going to teach you how to dance by chapa. You gotta make the soil a little bit breathe so you can actually immerse yourself in Santo Domingo. Se sana a diferentes lugares, de diferentes idiomas, se unen por algo que aman, que es el béisbol, y es por la razón de la que se, de la que todos estamos aquí, los aquí lindo sueño. 20 strangers came together to change the life of La Familia Osuna. This is what we came here to do, and we did it. We're excited to welcome the Boston Red Sox Lindo Sueños team on today's flight. Woo! The Lindo Sueños program unites people with different backgrounds through our shared love for baseball and community service. Today's group of American players are on their way to meet their Dominican teammates in Santo Domingo to play baseball and perform community service. The Lindo Sueños program brings 10 American teenagers and 10 Dominican teenagers together in the Dominican Republic for a trip that involves community service in the morning and baseball in the afternoon. The decision-making process in selecting those who are participating in the program, we were looking for, first off, young men who want to make a difference in someone's life. That was the most important criteria when we were looking to candidates, but also had a love for baseball. El programa Lindo Sueño para mí es un programa muy especial porque ayuda a muchos niños de, de diferentes nacionalidades a que se forme un equipo y que el, en, enseñarle nuestra cultura, enseñarle a jugar béisbol, conocerse. Hacer una, una casa que no lo tenían, una familia. The goal for all the players who are selected to participate in the Lindo Sueños program is to hopefully expose them to a world that's completely unfamiliar to them. We look to build character. We look to strengthen uh, these players and prepare them for whatever is next in their lives. Some might be going to college, some might be joining the workforce. The goal of this program is, is to really expose them and to, and to build them. I'm Dad, my mom. This is what we're here to do. We're here to build a house. We're gonna interact with the community. We're gonna introduce you guys to La Familia Osuna. Let's do what we came to do, guys, all right? Excited? How we feeling, good? Yeah? The community of El Mamon is um, located about five minutes from the Red Sox Academy. The community is an impoverished community. The streets are dirt streets. Houses are in not the best shape. It is a very happy community. They were very inviting. It is a very beautiful relationship that we have with the community of El Mamon. We choose a family uh, that is in need for a house. Um, and we get to experience your life before we get to uh, change your lives. We first see the house, get to know the community, get to know the players, get to know uh, the staff as well. This is La Familia Osuna. They lived in this house their entire lives. As you can see, it's a very small house, maybe the size of most folks' bathroom. The construction team will be starting the, the foundation soon. This house is gonna get torn down from the scrap 
and we're literally gonna build it from the ground up. We have some time to just go in and just check it out and just walk around and just see how they have lived their entire lives. Um, there's not, there's, there's like nothing in here. Imagine having to like sleep on like rocks and stuff. That looks like that was kind of their like shelf for like food and stuff. So probably like kitchen over here and then this is, this was probably like how they hung their clothes so that they could get dry if they were wet. We were at a halt um, and came to a silence when we saw most of the stuff that appeared in El Mamon to see, you know, cars not as on, on dirt roads instead of pavement and to see essentially shacks that people call houses gave a lot of us a new perspective at what a whole other side of life could look like. Primeras impresiones eh, realmente da un sentimiento de tristeza ver que esas personas viven en esas condiciones. Eh, escuché conversaciones de, con mis compañeros y dicen que o sea, el tamaño de la casa es normalmente el tamaño de nuestras habitaciones. Entonces poder tener la oportunidad de ayudarlos y, y hacer una casa nueva desde los cimientos es realmente una Se siente muy reconfortante. We're gonna expand it more. Yeah, we're gonna expand it more. Right out to about the pole here. Just about. We're gonna have a lot more space. A lot more space inside. You know, room for the kids. Imagine just four people in there. Let's say the kids, you know. In this heat. Imagine, you know, rain, thunderstorm. Not much shelter. So let me show you this actually over here. Mm -hmm. So you you can't tell now, but there was um, like, like some sort of like blanket covering this, and there was a hole over here which they covered, and that's what their uh, their bathroom was. No privacy. I mean, you got like everyone looking in. Yeah. You're right next to a window. Mm -hmm. So originally looking at the house, I mean, it was mostly made out of just kind of like looked like kind of scrap metal from older maybe projects or something like that around the community that they probably took to build the house. The, like the, the wood and everything was just literally like branches of trees that they stuck into the ground to hold everything up. I don't even know if I'd be able to bring my bed in there um, just like with the sheer size of it. It's unbelievable how little they have. This is the family who you're gonna change their life forever. We're gonna build them a beautiful home a home that the girls can grow up in and be proud of. The work actually starts now. A lot of our players uh, jumped right in and uh, working on the house in El Mamon. A lot of them learned skills for life in terms of building and contracting. Starting to get a little bit of rhythm. I feel like, oh, maybe not, maybe, maybe no rhythm. But feels good, you know. Got to get to the side, learning, learning how to hit a nail, even though my dad would be mad if I said that because he already taught me. We're working on nailing in the wood into the, the frame. Estamos cortando la tabla para ponerla y ponerla ya. We are communicating very well to cut the table. No, it's a pelotero. I want to be a pelotero. I want to say, that's for if one day you need to help someone. You always learn from that. Here we are. We are helping to build the house in the community, the mamón, to help the family. We are doing a good job here with my companions. I am learning a lot. It's a good day with my companions here, to pass it well with them. The house before was probably like this little room over here, like smaller than that little section. So it's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, roughly, yeah, like 10, 12 times the size. It's just, it's going to be cool. Communication 
between Americans and Dominicans, of course, they don't speak the same language, but they both share the love for the sport of baseball. And that's what brought them together. It was a lot of baseball talk. It was, how do you play the game? How can I learn from you? What was your experience like uh, playing baseball? And that's what brought everyone together, was the love for the game. They love the game of baseball, the kids when they come. I mean, most of them are more advanced than others, and, and it's good to see them, how they try to help each other. Entonces, mañana los pitchers van a tirar bullpen mañana. Entonces, Miguel, tú, ¿quiénes son? Y Christian. Y tú también, así es. OK, el juego creo que el viernes. Entonces, el mañana te tiran bullpen. OK, so I'm asking them, because usually in the Dominican Republic, when you're going to pitch in the game, some of, depending where you practice, some, some academies, do it two days before the game, a bullpen. They rest, then you pitch. Some do it a day before, so that's why I'm asking them. So all of them are going to do a bullpen tomorrow. Today we're just going to hit. Hoy nosotros solamente vamos a batear. Christopher, he's going to hit some ground balls. All you guys that play infield, go to shortstop and just switch. He's going to be hitting ground balls. And then Ralph Field, the guys that play outfield, just go back to the outfield and shag. And this way, this way you get your work in. Look, we're going outfield, se van para outfield y shaguean. Todo el mundo va a batear. Everybody's going to hit. This is the way I've always done it. And by seeing you guys hit, I have an idea what I'm going to do with the lineup. Cuando yo lo vea bateando, yo sé dónde ponerlo en el lineup. Winga, lo caco. Say, when you're taking BP, try to think gap to gap. This will help you keep your hands inside the ball. Oh boy, next. If you're too close with your legs, you're gonna strike further. So you wanna have in a position that your body weight is 50 50. Excellent. Pick him up. On the tall one, he's been, Miguel, he's been pitching for two months. So, you know, it'll take him at least a year to get a grip for pitching. Because now remember, they're coming from the outfield. So everything is hard, hard. There's no, you know, separation, there's no staying back, there's no release point, he's just throwing the ball. Fastball. Entra la cintura. Claro, para que no te abra. Está bien, Samuel. Buen trabajo, mijo. So guys, sit in the dugout. Come on. Talk about the signs. Va a hablar de la seña. Pongan atención. Esto borra la seña. Las dos manos. No una. Two hands. Not one. So if I start here, that's hit and run. Eso va a estar corrido, ¿no es verdad? Si hago eso. Nada, but right, hit and run. What's that? If I go here, hit and run, but they're going Espanol, 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 se me están quedando atrás. Vamos otra vez. Okay, le vamos a ver a tu Christian. Vamos a ver. Nada. Let me see. Oh, and stand up. No, hit and run. Hit and run. But still, you see, you're right. I'm wrong. My bad. So, you got it. Yeah. It's funny. At first, we didn't know how that was going to work when we started the program 19 years ago. But then we realized that everything happened after they got on the bus, especially after they played the first game. For some reason, that was an icebreaker. It doesn't matter what we try to do. That bus, the music, and the game of baseball just brings them together. The bus ride was probably one of the best things. The first day we got on the bus, um, we're expecting just a silent drive to the hotel. No, not at all. Big, big, big difference. You hear blasting music and you hear, you know, bass. We kind of stuck to our own groups, American and Dominican. We kind of were split, I'd say, for like the first two days. But then as the days went on, I think one of the things that connected us most was honestly the, the music and the dancing. In El Mamon, the play, um, the baseball field, brings everyone together, not just because we were the Boston Red Sox going down there, they probably have the same audience every single game, but it was pretty cool to see like um, all of the kids come out and just like hang their hands on the fence. It felt like a Major League Baseball game to them. Lots of yelling, but like good yelling. So it was just beautiful to see that they come from two different worlds and were able to, in one dugout, be a team. Aquí el baseball en República Dominicana 
es prácticamente esencial, donde desde pequeño, muy, muy temprana edad, ya los niños están practicando el béisbol como para tratar de llegar a ser profesional. Béisbol es tu ticket off the island, um, and you really see that uh, with the kids playing, especially like 13 year olds that are, you know, striking you out and stuff like that. Baseball is the universal language between Americans and the Dominicans. It's the love that they have for the game that they're able to come together and become teammates. It's the learning of the sport from a different perspective. Um, in the Dominican Republic, the pace is much faster than it is in America. For me, my life, because I like me lo desde pequeño mi abuelo siempre vive el verbo conmigo para mí en mi vida cada cada experiencia que me pasa en el terreno siempre la llevo en mi cabeza practico los fallos míos entonces es para para los dominicanos un deporte de la vida el el verbo personas de diferentes lugares de diferentes idiomas se unen por eh, algo que aman que es el verbo y es por la razón de la que se de la que todos estamos aquí, lo, aquí lindo sueño. One of the days was extra special because we traveled a few hours to Pedro Martinez Foundation. There we got to know a little bit about what he was doing in his community. We were able to participate in some activities, one which were dancing, learning some dances down there. So it was pretty cool for the teenagers here from the United States to kind of embrace themselves and just jump right into the Dominican culture. Hoy, por toda la fundación, no se preocupen, no es tan inmensa que no la podamos recorrer rápido. We're going to start our tour. Don't worry, it's not a big thing, but it's huge what we do here. They come every single day to do their homework. We have just seven computers. Recibimos de, de 40 a 60 niños diarios para hacer sus tareas. Tener el programa Lindo Sueños aquí en nuestra fundación, compartiendo con nuestros niños, realmente es una experiencia maravillosa porque ellos aprenden de nuestra cultura y son partícipes de que la buena fe y buena voluntad es importante. Eh, aprenden un poco, se solidarizan con los que menos tienen y a los niños les encanta, se divierten. Para ellos es novedad ver a alguien distinto que venga de otro lugar a visitarlos. Se sienten bien, se sienten que son tomados en cuenta. Y al final eso es lo que nosotros queremos, que nuestros niños sientan que este es su oasis y que todos los que estamos aquí realmente nos interesan. That's amazing. Welcome to our summer camp. And as part of the summer camp, guys, you must dance. Stretch out, wear your hips. Okay, simple. And up, and the belly, and you're going to shake. You got it! This is great. One, two, go! That's a little flower so you remember our country and of course us. We're gonna do a tour of the house in El Mamon, the progress that's been made so far. Uh, you see some of the guys have been starting to paint the, the front of the home. When you walk in, the first bedroom is gonna be uh, the master bedroom where the, the parents uh, will be sleeping. This is the, uh, the living room area space. Uh, we've begun painting the inside of the house pink. Requested directly from the family and, and the daughters. They wanted uh, the inside of the home to be pink. Second bedroom over here is gonna be where the older daughter will be staying and sleeping. Over here, the second bedroom for the younger daughter. Um, you can see we've already started painting the inside of the bedroom as well, pink. Um, it's what the little girl wanted. This area over here that we're working on is the, uh, the kitchen area. Um, also continuing with the, the pink color. 
We'll have a, a stove over here, um, as well as uh, a toilet. It's crazy that a, people, like a family of four can live in something the size of my bathroom at home with a dirt floor and just made of random wooden metal. So I think it's really gonna help them. This is probably like eight to 10 times that size. So having a home that they can play in and just have fun in and just relax a lot is really gonna be good for them and they'll be able to grow really well, I think. As part of the program, we did take a field trip to Santo Domingo to La, Sola, La Zona Colonial, which is the colonial zone of Santo Domingo. It is a very historic area. A lot of them actually live in DR, but hadn't been to this area and didn't really know about the history of the Dominican Republic and how important it is to the country. So it was really wonderful to see them learning and you know, almost like gaining a sense of pride of their country through this um, field trip. One of the first things we did is we went into a movie theater and we watched a 3D animation of kind of the Battle of Santo Domingo and how the Spanish and British fought for control um, of the territory. And then we had a nice tour with a local from Santo Domingo really walking us through um, the historic landmarks of the city. And it was really just eye-opening just to see how the history from 100 years prior um, was evident in the city. He's gonna make the soil a little bit brief so you can actually immerse yourself in Santo Domingo. He welcomes you uh, to the country and he's excited for the tour. The Spanish came here because they needed a different route to get into the other side of Europe. So they came through Santo Domingo in order to, to access the other side. Santo Domingo is the original uh, creator and user of the streets, the very long, narrow streets. Here on the wall, you can see a perfect coral reef that they used to build the wall. Is any huero, does it remind you of an uh, instrument? So you take everything from the inside, you dry it up, and that's how you create a maraca. Our final day at El Mamon was probably one of the most important ones and most impactful ones. Um, the house was being finished and the professionals were putting small details in the house in order to conclude it, uh, things we couldn't do. So we decided to take uh, a tour with someone from the community to show us the previous house that Lindo Sueños had built and also the schools that they have. Lindo Sueños has been a big part of this community for a very long time. This is where a lot of them have lived their entire lives. This is where they also work. So they don't really get a chance to get out of this community often. You'll notice in some of these homes, some of the homes that Lindo Sueños previous participants have built. We built this house in 2018. I'm not sure if you guys remember from orientation, but this was the, the picture that we showed you guys when we last built the home here. You see like the materials that we use are materials that should last a long time for the family. It's a house that is safe and that they can be proud of. And we like to use bright colors just to show that you know Caribbean feel to it. And we also ask the families what color they would like too. And just like the house we made for them, there are many other families in this community who are also very thankful for Lindo Sueños. This class of Lindo Sueños completed the biggest Lindo Sueños home in the history of the program. The players built a home that has three bedrooms, a master bedroom for the parents, a bedroom for each child, a living room, a kitchen, a bathroom inside of the home, which has never been done before. The home has four windows now, where before they had no windows. So this is impressive. This is a feat that hopefully becomes the standard now for every Lindo Sueños trip. The unity played a huge part in that. They have great team chemistry in the matter of three days we were here. So it was great to see the love and the support and I'm glad the program brings those two cultures together and we continue to move forward with that. It's, it's important for them to understand how important that is. So it's important for them to, to see what we do with a family, but I want for them to really feel it, for them to have it in, in, not only in their mind, but in their soul. Because now when they go back home, they're going to see that just doing a little bit to help someone, you know, it's going to make you feel good. Today, we didn't build 
a house, we build a home. 20 strangers came together to change the lives of La Familia Osuna. It's a house, it's a home, it's something that you guys should all be proud of. You guys did this. This is what we came here to do, and we did it. <laughs>